Hi, it's Sherry here at the Little Beading Closet. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple wrap bracelet, step by step using ginkgo beads and size 8 seed beads. It's a lot of fun and let's get started. Subscribe! For today's ginkgo wrap bracelet, you're going to need ginkgo beads and I'm going to use an array of colors with matching size 8 seed beads. I'll do an ombre effect using a symbol clasp and some wildfire thread in black. See the description below for all the details. Let's begin this project by threading our needle. You know, this wildfire can be kind of stiff and a little thick for a lot of beading needles. I can't remember where I had seen this trick, but if you take your thread and a pair of pliers and pinch the end of the thread between the pliers. What it does, it flattens it out and makes it into this paddle shape. Then this paddle should fit through the eye of your needle pretty easy. And once you get it through at least that much, you can just grab onto it and pull your needle on. And that is an easy way to get a thicker thread through a needle. I have added a needle to the other end of my thread and I used about seven feet all together. I'm going to go ahead and pick up my clasp. And I forgot to mention that you should use an 11 next to your clasp. Go ahead and pick up an 11 and a corresponding color to your clasp. And if you don't have an 11, an 8 is fine. I'm going to bring that onto my thread. I'm going to pick up my first pattern, which is a ginkgo. And for all the ginkgos I pick up today, I'll be picking them up with the point facing me. So I'm going to go ahead and needle into my ginkgo, picking up an 8, and then move on to my next color, picking up an 8, moving on to my next color, picking up an 8, and my next color, picking up an 8. Now I'm going to bring all this down to the middle of my thread so it is centered on the thread. Now I'm going to take my other needle and pick up the 11. and go through my first ginkgo. And you can see that the ginkgo will sit on here like so. Now I'll just pick up the corresponding eight to go between each of my ginkgos. So here's the pink, pick up a pink and go through the blue. Coming out of the blue, picking up a blue. Coming out of this lustry purple, picking up a purple. Coming out of this eggplant color, picking up an eggplant color. And I had the first little ombre section on. I've continued adding some of my beads, and I'm just going to check to make sure the tension's the same for both. I'll hang on to it pull it down, make sure it's nice and straight, and I'm just going to continue. You know, you could do this with all one color 
and it would be nice or any color combination that you like and that would make the best bracelet. Do what you love. I've added 13 and a half inches worth of beads to my bracelet here. So what I'll do is lay it out flat and go ahead and make sure it's nice and smooth and even tension throughout from the beginning to the clasp. And once I feel the tension is nice and even, I just need to attach my clasp over here. So go ahead and pick up one of your needles. Find the thread it corresponds to here. Let's see, we're almost there. I'm going to pick up an 11 and come into my clasp. Just like so. And then I'm going to pick up an another 11 and come through my ginkgo on the opposite side. Now I will just needle through my work and add some half hitch knots along the way. Now with the thread that was still coming out this ginkgo by the clasp, I'll pick up the needle for that and come through the 11. Pull my thread through. And through my clasp. And through this 11 and ginkgo. And then continue by needling through here, adding some half hitch knots and keep going. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Leave a comment below if you try this and let me know what you think. And have a wonderful day.